Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on the two-point formula. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Now maybe this little sign here will give you a clue. Good luck with it. The two-point formula. Consider the red line which is drawn on the number plane. Notice that the two points on the line are minus 6, 1 and 4, 6. We can use these two points to calculate the equation of this line. The next slide will present more information about this process. Background information, prior knowledge. Before we learn how to find the equation of a line when we are given two points, it is important to remind ourselves about a basic computation technique involving fractions. This technique is known as cross multiplication. Now here's an example. Consider the following similar fractions. 2 over 3 equals 8 over 12. Now we'll look at the next slide to continue on with this. 2 over 3 equals 8 over 12. It is obvious that the above two fractions have the same value. That is, they are equivalent. If that is the case, then we are allowed to carry out a calculation known as cross multiplication. And here's the technique. 2 times 12, which is 2 times 12, equals 8 times 3. 8 times 3. And the reason it's called cross multiplication is because of this cross here. So 24 equals 24, because 2 times 12 is 24, 8 times 3 is 24. This is further proof that the two fractions are equivalent. The line from the earlier slide has been reproduced here. So there it is there, it's the same line with all the same information. In order to work out the equation of the red line, we need to use a very important formula. It is called the two-point formula. Now here it is. When a line passes through two given points, we can use the following formula to find its equation. And the very important formula is y minus y1 over x minus x1 equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Note that x1, y1 and x2, y2 are the two given points. Here they are here. There's x1, y1 and there's x2, y2. The calculation using the above formula will be given on the next slide. Now here is the line repeated. All the information is the same. There's the very important formula there. We now substitute the given values into the above formula to find the equation of the line passing through the two given points. Now, y minus y1, which is y minus 1, and there it is there, y minus 1. So equals y1 is 1, so y minus y1 is y minus 1. So that's the top part. Now x minus x1 is x minus minus 6, which is this part, x minus minus 6, equals y2 minus y1, which is 6 minus 1. That's 6 minus 1, over 4 minus minus 6, which is 4 minus minus 6. Now let us go through 
all the way down and simplify all this to work out the equation. The y minus 1 is repeated here. x minus minus 6 is x plus 6. Because when you have minus minus, that's actually a plus. The 6 minus 1 is repeated here. And 4 minus minus 6 is 4 plus 6. The y minus 1 is the same. x plus 6 is the same. On the other side, we have 6 minus 1. That gives you 5. And 4 plus 6 gives you 10. Now we do the cross multiplication that we saw earlier. So we multiply 10 by y minus 1. Which is 10y minus 10. There it is there, 10y minus 10. We multiply 5 by x plus 6, and that gives you 5x plus 30. Now, in order to simplify this equation here, we add 10 to both sides because of this minus sign. So we add 10 to both sides. So here, look, we've added 10 to that side, and we've added 10 to that side. Now, remember, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do it to the other to keep the equation balanced. When we simplify this red line here, we have 10y equals 5x plus 40. Now further simplifying from there to there, we can see, as we look across here, that 5 will divide into each of these terms. So we divide both sides of the equation by 5. 10y divided by 5 gives us 2y. 5x divided by 5 gives us x. 40 divided by 5 gives us 8. So 2y equals x plus 8 is the equation of the red line. Quick quiz. Now here are two questions to test your understanding. And please go through the video at any time to help you. What is the meaning of the following? And the answer, equally important. I wonder if this sign here helped you at all. A little bit tricky, isn't it? The quick quiz answers. So here are the two answers to the quiz. And remember, the video is available if you need to check anything out. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.